All right, welcome back. Welcome back to the snap. Back to the vessel. Brie, baby. That's me, baby. We're going to tap right into this energy. Okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold up, y'all. I just heard, um, we're going to focus on it because I really don't have time. I'm trying to stay about Empress Energy and the reads that be coming out be like getting on my nerves. But I heard, um, spiritual attacks that people trying to spiritual attack y'all. Yep. With my ear itching, you know, um. Because last night was the full moon. And right before I started y'all's read, I was like, oh, this makes sense. And discernment came out. And it was like, use discernment during this time, especially with that, that full moon here. Just focus on releasing, letting go of certain energies, detoxing. Because the, the karmics, I don't even like saying that word. It really gets my nerves. But the karmics were karmic. And the, the witches were doing their thing last night. They Whatever they thought they was doing, y'all. But um, it really don't matter because... Your angels and ancestors are all around you, all right, all the time. It's like they be sitting here like, whoo, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Gaia as well. You can be 28. You're deeply connected to Gaia. It says the frequency of Gaia reminds us that we are infinitely connected to one another, just as we are the great um, mother, the universe that birthed us all. So you're connecting with a uh, mother earth at this time, okay? And... I feel like they're keeping you grounded as well as your angels and ancestors keeping you elevated, keeping you in alignment. So you have like this double protection over you right now at this time. So it don't matter what nobody do. They can't touch you. That's why I said in the beginning, it just be, I'd be tired of giving them the time of day. But anyways, as you recover, you're healing from a lot of trauma wounds. Okay. Um, you're closing and stitching yourself up. This could actually be like literally for some of you guys, if you like experience some type of like literally tra uh, traumatic wound on the body whatever this is but i'm getting from most of you guys this is like internally all right this could be um yeah external or internal and i feel like spirit wants you to know that you're doing a great job whether that's with your shadow work your inner child healing whatever it is whatever you're putting work towards you know work within yourself you're doing better than you may realize okay also like self-care i'm getting that song um Self-love is the best love. The most love you ever get from your self-love. Two, three, four. So it's like if you're looking for um, love and like... Why am I getting that song Tennessee Whiskey by Chris T Staple? T I, don't know the, I don't know the man's name. Um, what's he say? I've looked for... Love in all the same places, but the bottom of the barrel is always dry or something like that. I feel like spirit saying it's because you're you're looking for it or something about um the most fulfilling love you're gonna find is within yourself, right? So I feel like you're doing a lot of introspection, you know, figuring this out. Um, also figuring out the best way to love yourself because we don't all love ourselves in the same way, right? A lot of people's love languages are very very different okay so i feel like you're you could be figuring out what your love language is or you would benefit from doing this all right but you're like dissecting yourself at this time in all elements right your your mental your um emotional state your your um physical state your health spiritually right like you're you're doing in, internal checks here yeah i feel like you're doing like daily internal checks or you're daily like like moisturizing yourself You could be connecting with the color purple a lot as well. That's also like the crown chakra here, or um, you could be working with amethyst crystal, or it's four right here. So I feel like you're manifesting something, but a lot of what you're manifesting is is coming within yourself. Like maybe you you've just wanted to manifest um, love within yourself, happiness within yourself, stability within yourself. All of this is is manifesting. This is what you're doing right now. All right, um, delight right here. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna be delighted with your progress like you're co-creating with the universe delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness the more delight we feel the more delight we evoked in others so <laughs> i feel like you're I wasn't say transformation but i'm hearing transition your transition within yourself the growth within yourself is making you happy it's making others happy around you but then you got these people where i see an evoke but it's like provoking them it's like 
they want to like poke, poke, poke because four, five, six, as I say this, because you're light, light, light. Like it basically is what I'm getting here. Or you're in this very light energy. You can be in this very uh, nurturing, divine, feminine energy. Another crystal that will help with your solar plexus, your willpower here. If, if people are trying to attack this, get that I said trying, right? Um, yellow citrine could be very significant. Yeah, you have discernment here. You have discernment here because it's like the more that you empower yourself, the more these people want to test you, but they don't understand they're testing the light. They're testing source. They're testing God. So let them test. Let them test, test, test. They want you to be the test taster. Why am I? They want you to be the test taster. I'm hearing y'all say like, and Aries are so much like that. Y'all are so raw with it. It's like, I hope they're... <laughs> It's like y'all hope their name, y'all hope your name tastes like shit in their mouth. And I feel like it does. It's like they, these are, these are the people that you have to use the discernment around because it's like you're elite. You're like that. You're elite. Yeah, remember it. So I'm also getting like, you remember where you come from. You remember who you are. Someone could be 38. You remember. This could also be like the, um, the Akashics, like your membrane, your 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 mind is is going through a transition as well, or your mind is reloading or, or going back in time, connecting you to valuable information. Um, it's like you remember everything, you're remembering everything that your soul went through. So it's like, um, I'm getting like reincarnation here. You're remembering your past lives. You're remembering what you what you did. And this is also like annoying people. Yeah, use discernment at this time. Use discernment because I feel like these people want to like throw an olive branch or some shit. I don't even know what that means, to, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I heard it, so I said it. Yeah, they want you to throw them like an olive branch or something. But it's like, if discernment is here, there's obviously hidden motives here. So spirit wants you to also know like your third eye is being enhanced at this time as well. Discernment supports our ability to view the world and people around us from a place of inner balance, detachment, yet compassion and wisdom. They hate that shit, man. They hate <laughs> they hate that when people detach from you, they get mad, they get angry, they remember you. You're rememberable. Every person that you've came into contact with, they remember your energy, right? But it's like when you detach from people, it's like, yeah, I'm going to love you from a distance. Or it's like, yeah, I'm going to just pray for you. Or it's just like, yeah, um, I'm going to just go that way. But, you know, I wish you the best, though. They, like, <laughs> they want you to wish bad on them. Like, you do that. Like, what type of weirdo stuff is this? Like, you don't do that. You literally wish for the good. You, 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 you wish success. You pray for success for everyone. Yeah, prosperity. You pray for pros prosperity for everyone. Or this is why you're prosperous. This is why you will be prosperous because of your compassion, because of your heart. The compassion that you even have for your enemies. It's like you're not dumb enough to let them come into your energy, but you're not resentful or unforgiving enough to, to really allow them to hold that, that anger or that hurt in your heart. You just release it and move forward towards more prosperity which is inviting you to express yourself in more joy, right? To celebrate the abundance and riches that the universe provides. So the universe is about to bless you just for your heart is what I'm getting here. For remembering your heart, to, for remembering, you know, for focusing on your happiness and joy and self-love and using discernment with, from, with these energies that are trying to like turn your heart cold, it's impossible. You have a heart of gold. Somebody has Pisces in their chart. Because I remember their read, it was talking about how um, their heart's like Iron Man. Like, you can't, it ain't even a regular heart. It's a magical one. <laughs> You're magical. All right? Somebody's name could be Rosa. Um, someone could be 22, 20. Did I say 36? And there's a whole lot of like uh, blue here. So I feel like the throat chakra here, maybe you're speaking about what you remember or there's like a, um, and I said divine feminine energy. So you could be balancing out your divine feminine and masculine energy. Or there's a divine masculine here that you need to use discernment with that's trying to attach themselves to your prosperity. Confirmation. Yeah, it's like you're a pro, man. It's like you're a, 
You're, somebody could be like a, um, an athlete. You're about to go pro. Or you're about to go like, you know how like, uh, what is this, like D1, D2, someone's about to go D1 or someone's about to get, um, dang, what's the word? Where they like traded, someone's about to get, like there's a, tr like it traded like into a different team or something like that. Recruited. So if that's the case, I feel like you have you need to use discernment because you have like a lot of eyes on you, but they're not all bad. So this means like if you could be using discernment trying to figure out what's what's the good people in your energy and what's the um the ones that you have to love from a distance, the ones that you have to, you know, detach from and release. I'm gonna use these cards here. Yeah, you have divinity here. So you are divine. The light is like, like you can't, there you go. You are divine and you can't see. I don't think y'all can see the cards anyway, so it don't really matter. Right here. Cause I like when you can see it on the table. That's why I used to do, I tried to like have the camera up here, but whatever it is what it is i feel like that's y'all's energy too you're like whatever it is what it is um i'm also getting like a a, a, a what's it called y'all know how i am with my pronunciation what's it called a cuisine a cru like somebody's making like a culinary arts you could be a um a chef And that'll be very prosperous for you. Yeah, you have an initiation. You're going right to passage. You're going from one phase to another here. And I feel like it has a lot to do with your heart. Ooh. All right, let's see what we got. Let's turn this over. Yeah, well, this card that I flipped over says it's not your energy. It's projection. Some of you guys, that's what I said in the beginning, you could be doing a, a detox or guided to, um, and that's why this discernment is here because there's somebody projecting or close to you in your energy. Um, I just heard succubus, one, two, three, as I say that. So be careful of that. And it's like, if somebody has, because that's your womb or portal, so also be careful of who you are sexually active with because it's like, the connection to your womb is the connection to your portal is the connection to your dimension, right? Um, the other realms. So it's like, it's, it's like kind of like an energy of like, as long as somebody is connected to your portal, they can like, I'm hearing a constant teleportion. Somebody trying to teleport to you, your dream state or whatever this is. That's why spirit's saying use discernment at this time. Cause your energy is light your energy is prosperous spirit wants you to remember that you're not whatever you're feeling now it's it's not you it's not your energy it's a projection some of you guys could be working with crystals or i'm hearing like crystal cording like i know um i put crystals underneath my pillows and bed and all the extras <laughs> extra shit right but it, it's really not though because it's like while you sleep or um it's like you'll be connected to that crystal. It's like another form of protection, right? If you want to do it, do it. If not, you know, do what you want to do. Some people, you know, ain't into crystals. That's what it is. But, you know, prayer, you know, prayer always works too. But, you know, understand that you are protected or even writing down, you know, certain things on paper. Bringing, that's kind of like a form of bringing your, uh, your mind, your manifestations to the 3D, right? Warrior here, war angels protect you. They're protecting you. They're also protecting you as you sleep. They're giving you this message with discernment and war angels protect you. 444, like I said, you're manifesting something. But if it hasn't manifested yet, it's because they need you to... I don't know why I heard cut the cords or cut the cord. There's a, there's a cord here that somebody is trying to connect to you or, or has to you. Why am I hearing like this is somebody who could like cry a lot or like come towards you like crying so that they can stall something here that's what i'm saying it's not your energy you could be an empath a hayuka empath look that up 
We're at 14 minutes. I'm going to close this out in a minute. So what's the solution? What, um, how do you want them to handle this situation other than discernment, other than, you know, watching, you know, their surroundings, cleansing, doing their energy? What else is the full card? This is your card. Stay in your energy. Protect your energy. Be, be in your energy. It's like um, if somebody thinks you're naive, I'm even getting like let them think you're naive, but you're not. Use, use your discernment. Because you're about to walk into a whole new beginning. You don't know what it is. You may not even, you know, feel secure within it. You may be feeling, you know, a little bit of uncertainty here. But your ancestors are with you. They're also helping you remember. How does that work? I'm going to just say it because maybe y'all understand something I don't. They're helping you remember the future. What are you, traveling to the future? What the hell? That's some powerful ass shit. Okay. Um, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. And you get messages from spirits. So these messages that I'm giving you, you've already got, you know, intuitive downloads about this. This could also be, you know, them, you know, telling you to remember that you are gifted. Remember that you are self-sufficient. Remember that you are independent. Remember that you don't need nobody but God, the most high spirit, your ancestors. They're helping you walk into um, independence, to not needing for anything. To be able to, like, I'm here and, like, get it on my own. But, yeah, I feel like you're talking to spirit. You're getting messages from spirit. Um, and this is them helping you remember. Three of Cups here. This is discernment with... Um, Clarify this three of cups. Clarify this three of cups. Some of you guys could be done with a cancer or have that in your chart. You could be done with another fire sign, earth sign. This could be co workers as well. People within the workplace, people that you work with. This could be um, friends. This could be also like a third party here, right underneath three of cups and discernment. I feel like four of cups, you weren't getting what you wanted out of a situation in the first place. Or you're already over something. You already feel like something is not emotionally fulfilling. You're already moving forward or being guided to move on, move forward to focus on, you know, work, focus on, you know, this is, this is a, this is a work card. This could also be work within yourself or work by yourself. What's this King of Wands doing? Causing conflict. Trying to rush in to cause... Conflict. This person could try to call you, travel towards you, um, message you. They're trying to quickly come in and, and create challenges. Or this is a challenge. And this is why it's a challenge. Because, well, I'm hearing somebody's not who they say they are. And they're putting the energy of who they really are on you. That's why you're facing all these challenges or these people that work together or whatever. Yeah, these people that work together to like conspire against you or whatever. A card could be significant. This could be even be like, why am I hearing to like cause issues with, with your car or whatever this is? This could also be family because five of wands is also like family arguments or hidden enemies within a family. Yeah, the sun card, uh, Leo energy could be significant underneath divine masculine, especially if it's a male here that you may need to use discernment with. Uh, the death card here. Something's going to end here with this situation. Scorpio energy. Something's going to end. And I feel like this is it's this drama. It's this challenge. It's this chaos. It's this projection here. And then something's going to be illuminated to you and you're going to be happy about it. I also feel like you need to connect more with the sun. Because something's about to transform. Yeah. 
you're going to be able to release this and move forward or you're being guided to release this and, and move forward or you may have to actually move relocate or someone is in this situation because you're being moved towards prosperity though and i'm getting like this is your higher self guiding your current self like all right it's time to go didn't i say some of y'all could be dealing with a capricorn so I said that in their read, it's time to go or to let go of something. Or you could have that in your chart. Because whatever you're dealing with, it, it, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Or these people that are trying to project it, it's too much now. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This is where I feel like you're, you're being guided to make head over heart decisions, to tap into your discernment, to do a lot of critical thinking, um, have boundaries here. You may have to leave, you know, someone out in the cold or reject someone who's trying to hold on to you because they've been planning something for a long time. They've been watching. What's this card that tried to come out? The lovers here. I feel like this is somebody that you have a love connection with or uh, the lovers could also signify like family members. But that's also Gemini, Virgo energy. What's the outcome once they release this? I feel like you guys are in, in a standstill or you're avoiding making a decision or you could be in denial about something because they don't want you to, to see something or see that see what they're doing here. Yeah, seven of swords. That's lying, stealing, deception. Follow your intuition. You could be overthinking a situation and, and, you, see, and you see what's going on. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that you're separating from or that you're going to separate from. It's like these groups of people are heartbroken over you taking back your power, over you holding on to your self-worth, self-love after they tried to hold you back. Where does that make sense? Yeah, that's justice here. That's karma. That's the, that's the scales being balanced out, weighed out. This could even be a situation that involves the justice system. Judgment here. God's calling judgment. We already said initiation. You're going through initiation. You're going through rites of passage. Here's the passage. The Miss High is removing you from a situation that um, I feel like you're already over. I feel like you don't want nothing from these people, from these cups. You know what's in these cups. And I'm getting it's a job. It's a, it's a, it's, it's at least three people. Working, drawing up plans, whatever the hell this is, to cause an ending here. And the thing is, whatever this ending is here, it's going to transform you. It's going to put you at the top. It's going to put you at the six of ones here. It's going to put you towards this, this um, prosperity. And then they're going to have to be talking about that. I feel like also a lot of people are gaining a new perspective of you on you. I'm hearing I'm hearing somebody say, I wish I would have never said what I said or did what I did. But you did. Is what I'm getting here. I'm trying to be like, Spirit keep telling me with these reads to be more compassionate. And I'm trying to be more compassionate. But when I clearly can see, you know what I'm saying, this is justice here. Like, this is this is how it was supposed to be. This is the part of the sacred plan. This is what was always going to happen. Yeah. Some of you guys will be done with another fire sign because you got the queen of uh, wands in reverse. That's jealousy. That's ego. Promiscuous. Strength. That somebody could be dealing with another Leo. And strength card is also like healer. You're gonna be able to heal from this and move on and, and continue to move yep. Continue to move towards your purpose and mission. But you you do have to use discernment here because there are people, you know, trying to stop you from moving forward within your life. But but the sun card here, the miss I said, I, I I joy and happiness is a part of your your destiny, your purpose. See, people always think, you know, all money is a part of the destiny and purpose, the divine counterpart. Yeah, that's the case, too, for a lot of other people. But but yours, your mission and purpose, it's a part of your destiny to feel joy, to feel happiness, to succeed, to always be connected to the most high. And so it is. And so you are. And people are mad over that because King of Wands are reversed. This King of Wands pissed because they can't they can't they can't stop you. You're unstoppable. 
I'm here at Mission Impossible, but not for you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. You're like Mission Impossible. Kim Impossible. Somebody's name could be Kim. Or that, that show significant. I haven't watched that in a long ass time. But it's like you conquer the impossible. And I feel like in past lives, if that's what they're helping you remember. In past lives, you did it and you're, you're here and you're going to do it again. That's why they keep bringing you back. If you get what I'm saying. Alright, so let's do an empowerment card and then we're going to go ahead and head out. I hope that clarified some things for you guys. Yeah, sacredness of mystery. Y'all been getting this card for a minute, or just the fire sign reads when I did in the um and the shorts. Go check out the the fire sign shorts. That was that was even talking about evil eye, right? But it's like don't even worry about none of that. The only reason it came out in this read is to let you know, you know, there's something that you're not seeing, or there's something that you are seeing, but you don't want to accept it. And spirit saying, you know, follow your intuition. Because it says I'm at peace with uncertainty. Yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty within this situation, but it's like you trust God. You trust the universe. And so now you're in a place where you're embracing the sacredness of this mystery because you know you have the knowledge you need today and that's enough. You know you have everything that you need. So why would you why would you worry? When you when you are tapped in the source, when you work with the most high, what would you be worried about? Right? We're not always gonna know everything. We just need to know what, what we need to know. And the things that, that spirit is sending signs to us about, we just need to pay attention to those, right? We don't need to know everything, but I'm getting you know enough. All right. It says, I'm healing to every being I encounter. What did I say? Your energy is rememberable. Everybody remembers you. I offer my unique gift. Others need my medicine, but I must first offer this gift to myself. As I share my medicine with the world, we walk the healing path together. So I feel like you're going to be coming into alignment with people who are on the same mission and purpose as you, who who want to heal, want to move forward, you know, who also have that healing energy. And it's like if this person, it's honestly like spirit is exiting out the people who are not in alignment with the high vibration, high frequencies, love, light, God. And it's almost like maybe you pray for this if, if, if. If it's not that, it's not nothing. It's, it's going to be canceled out of your life is what I'm getting here. Which is really a blessing because who wants to be surrounded by low vibrational things and people who always having to, you know, look through your third eye, always having to look behind your back like, oh, is this person played? The spirit's like, you don't deserve that. So spirit is removing you, moving you forward. All right. So I hope to help somebody out within their situation. Um, and the next reads I'm hoping is going to be a lot lighter. Like I said, the full moon was just yesterday. So I feel like there's a lot of exposure coming out. A lot of things, you know, that are going to, you know, be illuminated, but not illuminated, you know, for hurt, for pain, illuminated for healing, to be able to move on, to be able to move forward, to be able to let go and really live the prosperous life that you are manifesting, guided to live. And it's a part of your purpose. And that's exactly what the Most High is doing for you. All right. That's what I have for y'all. Peace.